Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 90. Ooh, I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 125 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now, here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down at this bench and we talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So yeah, 90, episode 90. We have done this 90 times. Can you believe it's been 90 weeks? We have not cleaned up our act though. No. We still We're have, not on the couch anymore. We still have way too many shenanigans. Yep. But we're about to change the background because the kids are here today, Anthony and Sarah, who love to decorate. <laughs> and as soon as we're done filming here, they're going to decorate, and so we're going to shift the desk or the whatever you want to call our the studio bench. table bench back over there so we can have Christmas. It'll we're going to do things Christmas. a little different this year. It is Christmas. This shirt will be available again on our website. We, you, it's, you order it through Amazon. Amazon prints it, ships it to you. It says walking around the Christmas tree with are two you, crazy kiddos. Are you ready to walk around the Christmas tree? I am tree? because Thanksgiving is over. It is. So you can officially decorate. I have a thing about people who are decorating before Halloween. I know. I went to um, a thrift store because that was my Black Friday shopping because mm -hmm. it was so weird. Black Friday shopping was so weird this year. Oh my year. gosh. I went to the Apple store. We didn't go together. We did not. Well, we didn't do any Black Friday shopping. First time. And I actually ran out at 6.30 in the morning to go to GameStop because they were supposed to each have two PlayStation 5s. So I'm like, you know what? Chances are somebody's been camped out there. Yeah. Well, I got there at 6.30 and they were opening at 7. There were four people online. That Actually, is, three. I was number four. That is unheard of. And Walmart, it looked like a Sunday morning, normal Sunday morning Walmart. Like nobody, nobody was there. in there. So did you get one? I did not get one. The hunt continues. The hunt continues. It uh, Somehow... That particular store, the only one in the area, didn't have any. Although GameStop said on their website, every store will have two. So I don't know. Why two? It's, it, it seems to me something's fishy that maybe possibly a store manager or employee sold them before they opened up the doors in the morning. Yeah, it's like Because he was like, oh, they were already sold. Well, how? We're how? the first ones online. But well, it's funny. Maybe they sold to him. And, and another employee, yeah. right? But you have to phrase it just right. I can remember when my kids would come and, or our kids, right. yeah, you can you can be on, in on this too. And they would well, say- Well, I am a kid. Yeah, yeah. And they'd say like, hey, mom, I wanna buy a toy. Right. You know, can I have some money? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't have any money for that. It's not that I don't have any money, it's that I don't have money for that. <laughs> so it's like that, yeah. We, they sold already to me. I actually feel bad when you're talking about not having money. I feel bad because I don't know about you guys. How many of you guys, I don't carry cash anymore. Never. I never have cash. Never. Like, I don't even have a dollar in my pocket usually. It's kind of bad. In fact, I ran to the store today and I forgot my wallet and I had to go into the store and be like, do you take Apple Pay? And they're like, uh, no. I'm like, okay, well, I don't understand why. Your website says you do, but... But I had to go out to the car and scounge for quarters because I, what I needed was like a dollar sixty-eight. but yeah. I don't carry cash. And I feel bad, like I was at a gas station yesterday and a guy came up and he was like, could you spare a couple bucks? And I'm like, I, I'm not even lying. I seriously have absolutely no money. I ended up going in, he needed gas. I went in and got him a $5 gas card. That's but, like just the easier way to do it. But it's like, yeah, nobody, do, do you, are you guys the same way? Like, I don't carry cash anymore. I never carry cash. It's funny that you had an awkward moment. I had an awkward moment with a, a homeless gentleman. Because again, yeah, I never carry cash. The only thing that I have that's got money in it that I could easily access at a red light, because he had come up to my car at a red light, was my... Um, I pay myself right. for staying on plan, right. and so it's all change. And so I have I kept my glass coin holder in there, so it's like rolling around in the back seat. And so I'm like, cup your hand, sir. 
And this has nothing to do, I just, I'm going to dump it in your hands and I don't want you to spill it and I think be in I the found, street. I think I found some of your change. I cleaned the garage because it got ridiculous. Ooh. And um, I was my... moving things around and I found the bag. You had a 2KK backpack. Yeah. And just in the bottom of it was like a buttload of change. I so love that change just got dumped into our change jar. I love paying for things at Walmart in the self checkout with coins. With coins, it's it's a thing I have. I love it. I feel like I'm playing a mom aged arcade game where I'm <laughs> always a winner. I was just thinking, let's real quickly, because you know, some people for some reason they like to turn off videos early. Oh, okay. So. Let's talk about the Cyber Monday deals. There's a few that I know of. Oh, yeah. There's, there, a lot of them Cyber are not going to be announced today. Cyber Monday, if you're watching this Hi. on the day that like we actually released a video. And while you're watching this, we're camping. So um, Perfect Keto sale is still going on. This is it, guys. There won't be another good sale until the new year, and it's not this good. So no, buy six items. You're going to get 50% um, off. I stockpiled, I'll tell you what I bought. I bought a couple of boxes of the peanut butter bars because that new bars with the allulose, awesome. It's really good. I bought a couple of tubs of base, which are their exogenous ketones, because every once in a while, I need that little boost if I get up in the morning and like I just have a bunch of stuff and I need that little thing, but I don't want to eat, so I'll like have that because it's like 30 calories. Very rare. I mean, the two tubs are going to last us an entire year. It'll, it, the whole year. And what else did I buy? Oh, I got a couple of tubs of the new uh, flavor of um, MCT powder. I love getting the text message from my mom with a screenshot of her order and saying like, what am I forgetting? Because right. I'm going to be ticked off when it's 50% off if I forget something that you know is usually on my list right. and then I forget it. And if you spend 120 bucks, you get a free gift and it's been a different free gift every day. Like one day it was nut butters, one day it was bars. So it's been a different free a different free gift every single day. Do you know what day. your free gift was? Um, I got the nut butters. It was the nut butters Did you, is what my, got on my Do day. you get to select what flavor? No, it was a specific flavor. It wasn't your peanut butter and jelly. Peanut one. butter and jelly, man. Okay, so we have that. And then also, this deal is still going on sale. Oh my gosh. So the keto bar thing, and it's really cool because you're getting a free mug. You and can, it's super you cute. Get a, if you order the each flavor, mm -hmm. and I actually felt bad. I don't know if he reached out to him because like you had to order each flavor and you got your choice of a free mug or a free like five bars. The mug was the better deal. It really because is. Because that was like the value. I have to look at value. Uh, so we got one of those because I wanted another mug because we only have one of those mugs and we've been fighting over it. Yeah. And then I got an extra pack of the vanilla spice latte because this flavor is incredible. And then I also got some of the cherry bars because the chocolate That's... covered cherry bars because they are awesome. Wait, strawberry. The chocolate covered strawberry. I was like, yeah. cherry? When did they come out that with that? That would even be better, right? Because well, you used to love chocolate covered cherries chocolate at Christmas covered time. Chocolate covered cherries is my jam. So right. like, hey, keto bars, if you come out with the chocolate, chocolate covered, covered cherry one, that one, that's a that's a 2KK Rachel yeah, one. Yeah, so that is still on sale for Cyber Monday. Well, I wanted to say before you um, leave the keto bar thing was I happened to go to Big Lots which they had an inflatable trailer, like an inflatable travel trailer as like the the blow up for oh, cool. the front yard. And oh, I was did like- Did we not buy it? We didn't buy it because it was $80. It's 20% off, but it still was like, oh, we don't need that. Like That would be cool because we're going to be spending a week here camping. Then we're doing three days dry camping with no electric and I'm not no looking sewer. To, I am not looking forward to that. And then we're doing another week the day after Christmas with the boys. So we should get that. I'm super I, We're going to spend more time camping than we will at home. So we should decorate the trailer. I'm, a, I'm in total agreement. But what I was thinking when I went to Big Lots was they started putting out all of the little gift assortments. So you're sending somebody a gift and you don't know what they would want, but you know that they would want to have something delicious or they, they drink a lot of hot beverages. And they had like coffee mugs right. filled with hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, we don't have any of that. And then I thought, wait a second. They do. 
I can totally buy the mug and have two of those, one of each flavor, wrap it in, you know, the, the clear bag because you can get those even at the Dollar Tree. Right, right. And like dress it up with a bow and give it to somebody who's even thinking about starting keto because... I'm excited about it. And they, you can buy those mugs separately if you want to do a bunch of them. Well, because it's like, it's so delicious that that can kind of help somebody to be like, you know, if they have the preconception that like everything on keto that is a desserty type thing isn't going to be as good give them that hot chocolate because it is amazing yeah okay um what happened to it lolly's deal is still going on lolly lolly so lolly. you get that bundle the efforts, vault yeah. bundle they're calling it so the vault. you get six flavors you're saving a bunch of money you use our coupon you get more money off. You get another 10% off on that. I'm like George Costanza with the vault. And then finally, I'll, the Keto Chow. All. The Keto Chow deal is still going on. Wait, they have a flavor of the week? They do have a flavor of the week. Orange cream. It's orange cream, but it really doesn't matter because the flavor of the week is 10% off. Yeah. And our coupon gets you 10% off. So, so long as you, not a coupon, it's a link. So long as you use our link down below, Everything on the site is always the flavor of the week for you because you get 10% off of everything. I like just kind of knowing what the flavor of the week is because it reminds me to go into my stash and like vary it up because right. you know that I'm chocolate toffee girl from way back and I will drink that every single time. And sometimes, especially in the winter months, if you are someplace where it is freezing cold and you would just like a tropical moment, right? it's nice to have like the orange cream and if you you mix it with coconut oil. It's like, oh, it's a tropical drink. drink. Okay, so we got some mail. We're gonna open this in a minute, but let's talk about it. So the deal from Friday is still going on, which is you get 40% off of the savory bundles for Cyber Monday. Okay. Um, you can also get their flask, like their hydro flask, whatever the, the actual brand is. Every time you 10 say that, off. I think like the little ones were like the, the gambling guys, with uh, like a swig of whiskey and like the OK Corral, but it's not that. So they're 10% off, but again, our link will get you 10% off anyway. It's for like a big beverage. And then unfortunately, we do have this. Do you want to open? This was the holiday bundle. What do you bundle mean, unfortunately? Because it's gone. It's sold out. It did? It is sold out. Oh, wow, that was fast. It sold out. It didn't sell out right away. They had 500 of them. They sold out. It's been last year. There were only 50 of last year's deal. Uh, well, they've learned. That's 10 times as many. But. But it's still sold out. Here's the thing. Should we say this? Yeah. Should we open it first? I think we should open yeah. it. Let's show you what's inside. what's inside of this holiday bundle that sold out. You can't get this anywhere. I like the stamp. Your hands still have like... I was on my Sealant roof. We'll talk them. about that in a little bit. Okay, so we have a nice little mug. With Miriam's handwriting. With Miriam's handwriting. It says, stay warm, chow on. So cute. We're going to have to fight over this because I really like this mug. She has way better penmanship than me. <laughs> way better. I like the little dots and stuff on it. So, so this is ceramic. So yeah, we're going to have to fight over that. Then we have... Lemon meringue, mm -hmm. awesome flavor. It is a really good flavor. And then we have, let's see. You gotta turn this into your cheesecake. We are going, I'm actually, I'm, I've got that lemon meringue pie that we're gonna be doing for Christmas. Chocolate. Which is freakishly good. Chocolate mint. I like this. We got a s'mores. This one's like shamrock shake. This is a lot like marshmallow. And we got an eggnog. Some people are doing s'mores and then doing chocolate on top of it. Like Chris made our pie, uh -huh. our chocolate toffee pie. Links down below. I'll put a recipe video up here. But he made it where he did a layer of s'mores, like as the custard, and then a layer of chocolate on top of that. Oh. Eggnog. We have an eggnog recipe also. We do. On our website. Yep. Eggnog stuffed cupcakes. Pistachio. Have you seen the big bag's got your quote on the bottom? No, it does not. It does. How cute. It does. We have to order that. Aw, how cute. Pumpkin spice caramel. I'm so excited now. And then you Sorry get, if anybody's offended by my comment. You get these little drops. It's and, not balls. No. You get these little drops, which these are great. Carry them in your purse. You always have some electrolytes. Talk about a cute present that you can you can get just this yeah, on the site. And then you just buy the big bottle to refill it. Perfect stocking stuffer. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. We got the secret flavor. 
Do you want to be the first ones to reveal it? Yeah. You want to reveal it? Let's Should do it. Miriam's going to kill me if I reveal it. Let's do us. it. You ready? Uh-huh. Ah! Oh, it's a secret flavor. <laughs> it just has a question mark on it. Miriam would kill me. Yeah. She would kill me. I'm not worried about Chris, but I am definitely worried that Miriam would fly to Florida and kill me. This, you get two of these, though. She's got this tender little stay warm and chow on, but yeah, she would beat you. I'm going to tell you, this flavor is awesome. It is really good. It is good. really awesome. Really good. So make sure you subscribe to our channel because you're going to find out what it tastes like within the next couple of days. Woo. So, so yeah. So here's the thing. They are sold out. But... That would be bad news. That is bad news. But make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that little bell button so that you're notified when we upload a video or when we go live because we're going to have one of these to give away. Yay! During the 12 days of keto Christmas. Yep. Yep. And so starting on the what day? The 9th. December 9th. December 9th and going all the way to the 20th. We are going to live stream. We just confirm every that. Every single day. 9th um, through the 20th. Time to be determined. We're still working on that. So you'll find out like probably on next week's Keto on the Couch. Uh, we're going to live stream every day. Every day is going to be sponsored by somebody. Every day we're going to have a giveaway. And That's my favorite. One of those days... We're going to have that, but also have some other goodies from Keto Chow. So, but I'm, I can't tell you what it is yet. I'm so excited. The giveaway time is like my favorite time of yeah. year. So make sure, share our videos, let everybody know, because here's the thing. Our channel is currently at 986 thousand views we could hit a million we views. could hit a million views before the end of the year that is my goal if you're watching we need fourteen thousand views if you're watching this right now you are literally one in a million <laughs> almost can you imagine a million people have watched our stupidity <laughs> well, does it mean a million people or a million views? What if well, I, what a million if, views. Now, if you watch it multiple times, that counts as one view on your account. So wow. you can go watch our video like 50 times. That's one view. Because I've at least watched the meets a video that many times. To make to, it. To make it. Yeah. Because I will forget some stuff. So step. please help us grow. Yeah. We really want to reach as many people as possible. But yeah, we are that close to a million views on our channel. So exciting. Kind of, kind of scary. Think, when you think about the fact that we only have 13,500 subscribers, but you guys are so awesome. Every time you share it, even if someone doesn't subscribe to our channel, mm -hmm. maybe it's planted a seed in their life that they'll come back to when they're ready. 50% of our views actually come from non-subscribers. Yeah. So. so thank you. Thank you for sharing it. Share the recipes this holiday season. If you, if there's something that, you know, you check out on our website, that you could share with somebody and just, you know, let people think about keto, especially moving into the new year. Right. As we go into the new year, people always kind of like made the decision to maybe, you know, make a change in their health goals. And we'd love for people to make the decision for keto. Yep. So I see that you have a mail over there. I have mail also. Okay. And it's even better Can I have it? than the mail you got. No, I want to first show you what you got. Okay. I don't see a name, but I see Kentucky. Like this is From not Kentucky. good, right? Like... There could be something eight-legged in here. There could be a crocodile inside I, here. I love our friends in Kentucky, but they tend to send us some crazy things to eat. Crazy. They, I really don't know what's in those. They put the crazy in two crazy ketos. I love it. I don't it. know what's in those. Actually, it's something really super awesome. So okay. this is from Slap Stick. This is from Christopher. Okay. And he writes, Joe and Rachel, prior to keto, I was in a bad place with my health. Standing up and walking was getting difficult. My joints hurt all the time. This ornament represents that victory. Oh, so this okay. is an ornament for our, our tree. You gotta take a look at it, it's amazing. Okay. Had it not been for keto, I'm sure I would be on crutches now if my wrist could have supported my weight. However, <laughs> since I no longer have any joint pain, even with wow. scleroderma, I am giving you these crutches for your tree. Wow. And you can totally relate to that because you were there also. This is awesome. I mean, I'm so happy for you, Christopher. I mean, it really, but this means a lot to me too, because 
for those of you who don't know, I spent two years on crutches. And I was told I needed an ankle replacement surgery right before I started keto, but I didn't, I couldn't do it because they said it was a year of recovery and yeah. I couldn't take a year off. And because of keto, I ended up never getting that and throwing out my cane. So like this, it's very is awesome. thank you. It what is a, awesome. What a beautiful victory that we're so excited about. Of course, at the end he says, "P.S. <laughs> please stop ruining delicious burgers by adding lettuce." <laughs> So, thanks, well, this is awesome. Thank you, Christopher. So, speaking of ornaments, Whew. so we generally what we like to do is we do our 12 days of keto and we decorate our tree with ornaments from you guys, which is what we did last year. But we've yep. only gotten two ornaments. We got the one from Steph and this one here. Yeah. And we want to get our tree up. The kids are going to put up our tree. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put up all of the ornaments that the subscribers sent us last year. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna take these and we're going to highlight them on Keto on the Couch and live streams and things like that and then yeah. add them onto the tree. It's beautiful. So speaking of live streams though, we're going camping this week. We are. We're And we're going for a, a longer time. We're going for five days. Yeah. Because so it's my 50th birthday. We, on next Sunday, we're gonna be celebrating so it. So we'll be gone on Thursday. We're gonna be gone on Thursday. So I did spend the morning drilling holes into the roof. Which I love. And I put a long extended like a uh, Wi-Fi. It's not a Wi-Fi. It's a it's a cell booster. Are we going to be able to drive under Oh, no. I, I designed this thing awesome. But you'll have to watch our Two Crazy Campers video that's coming out next week on what I did. But I basically made it so that I can put it up and down and up and down. Thank goodness. But then when you put it up. So... I'm hoping, we don't know what the cell coverage is like where we're going. So. We're trying our best. We're hoping that we have enough cell coverage that we can live stream on Thursday. So that's the plan. So again, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that we can do that and show you, like, you know, let you know if and when and what time and that kind of stuff we're going to live. We do have three different internet carriers. So. Hopefully one of them gets service. We're trying, but I'm telling you what, when we went to that Mayaka there campground, was it was the Bermuda Triangle. Well, we did have service with one of them, but it was spotty. So that's why I'm hoping that this booster is going to boost it so yeah. that we can do a live stream for yeah, it. Yeah, because nothing, we know nothing is more annoying than when it's like bleeping in and out. Yeah. It'll be a, a simpler live stream, like not a lot of fancy stuff, like just on our cell phone and stuff. But again, we're, it, it'll all show up in notifications if you hit that little bell button. Yeah. Also, to celebrate my 50th birthday, we're going to live stream. So you actually are getting 13 days of Christmas this year, yes, right? Yes, we are. Because we're going to live stream on my birthday at... 5 p.m. Eastern time, right. which will give you enough time to, to get home from to church. get home from the church to to set up for the next week at church and then come home, relax for a few minutes, eat some dinner, and then we're gonna live stream for a little while to celebrate my 50th birthday. Because we were like, should we throw a party? And it was like, no, because if you guys can't be there, what's the point? That's seriously like, how, how I felt. I was like, I want to spend. My birthday with my family, and I have this is my family. My mom unfortunately is in New York, so yeah. I can't spend my birthday with my mom. Or Terry. They won't let me in there, or my, or my sister. Won't be able to come back. So I have you guys, and Rachel's mom and her brother and stuff is around the corner. So that's what I want to do. I want to spend my birthday with my family, and you guys are our family. I'm so. excited. Do you want to get into comments? Let's take a quick commercial break. Okay. And then we'll get into our comments and all that kind of stuff. Yay. Well, hello there. So before we even get started with the Adjunct Professor of the Week for Keto College, I did want to one more time shout out the gift exchange that Shelly is organizing through Elfster. Thanks, Shelly. If you go over to our Facebook family group, which the link is down below, the comment is pinned to the top. And if you're watching this on Monday, today is the last day. Get in there. So get in there. We are both signed up. So you may even get one of us. Woo. So go ahead and go do that because I'm really excited about this. We love doing this like little gift exchange with everybody. Well, I want you to publicly declare right here that you're not going to try to to get anybody back for all of the fear factor stuff and send a Christmas present that is like a spider or something to eat like oh, that. Oh, no. It, it's going to be grape zip fizz. <laughs> well, I hope he doesn't. I hope you don't get me. 
Hope you don't get me as a secret Santa. Let's get into adjunct professor of the week. So every week we like to pick some people or somebody from our Facebook family group or even the YouTube comments that is putting up something that is really inspiring everybody. And honestly, this week's adjunct professor of the week is everybody in our Facebook family group. Aww. Because going through our Facebook family group over the holiday was awesome. I yeah. saw pictures of food, encouragement that you can stay keto. Yeah. I saw people sharing deals that we didn't know about. Mm -hmm. It was just awesome to see the amount of encouragement and the amount of delicious food and it was all keto. And so there's, I couldn't pick one person because Every time I saw another post, I'm like, wow, that's inspiring. Wow, that's awesome. I, so it's everybody in that group. I could not agree more. I was so encouraged. And to have family members that, that you can't get together with this year, you just can't. I love the fact that we got to spend the morning with, with Chris and Miriam and everybody just sort of like around the virtual table enjoying that. And then, yeah, the, the party continued. We could You could still jump in there all through the day and just get you know an, an encouraging word and see some beautiful food all over the country it was just really nice speaking of chris and miriam yes did you know what happened on friday because i got a phone call uh, around 11 30 now around 11 30 12 o'clock i'm you were gone you were at the thrift store i'm working cleaning the garage and i get a phone call from chris and he's like sorry and I'm like, what? I'm like, what could he possibly be sorry about, right? And he's like, well, you know how we were live streaming together yesterday and like he had permissions like to be able to live stream onto our channel so that we can do everything simultaneously. Uh -huh. He's like, I forgot to turn that off. And he's like, um, we accidentally streamed to your channel today. <laughs> well, they're super cool. Like they're way cooler than us. So like I'm completely comfortable with it, but it was funny. I was going, I was at the thrift store cause yes, my thrift store had an awesome Black Friday sale. I started getting like holiday shirts, um, but one to $2 is kind of like my, that's my my money for, for holiday shirts. That's like my budget for that. Um, but I, I got a notification and I looked and it, and it notified me that we were on. And I was like, wait, a, am, am I live streaming right now without even knowing it? Did my did my butt push something? You know how like you're always worried that like your your butt's gonna like no. butt dial somebody. Did I butt live stream? But it, it no. was it was fine. And I guess, but it took him about 10 minutes to notice it because it heart. started showing up in the comments. Are you we got the notification for both channels and the face. His that he puts on. Uh, Lucy says I got the YouTube notifications from both channels. Oh, that's funny. Oh crap. Are we doing on their live uh, on their thing? I wonder <laughs> if I forgot to turn that off. <laughs> Sorry. Piece of crap. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> uh, I might be. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Joe, sorry I forgot to turn that off. We're, We're live streaming, streaming on, on 2KK's channel. <laughs> It's been a morning. It's been a morning. <laughs> oh and, my God. and then he was like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then immediately jumps off like, and live stream's over, goodbye. <laughs> it was so, so cute. It was cute. funny. It was an Anthony face. It was an Anthony face. I feel face. like we must be related because that was an Anthony face when Anthony would like accidentally do something like, yeah. It was funny. So cute. So let's get into our subscriber of the week. Now, if you're new to our channel, we every week we go in, we find somebody who's put up their success story. We like to share success stories. Keto on the Couch is all about you guys. It's all about celebrating you guys, sharing deals, and there's nothing better than celebrating a success story, especially because your story is going to impact somebody. And it I really know we will. say this every week, but there's people who message me, well, you know, I've only lost five pounds, so like I'm not really at the end of my journey yet. It doesn't matter, right? It's not in our nature to celebrate. Like right. it, it's just, it's very hard for us, especially, I mean, it's it's okay for us to celebrate other people, but we're, it's really hard for us to stop and celebrate ourselves, particularly if you haven't hit the mark. But I'll tell you, once you hit your goal size or weight or whatever you're trying to achieve in a, in a certain amount of time, when, when you, you know, get there, a lot of times 
you don't celebrate then either. That's right. It's like, oh, well, I don't want to get too excited because maybe I won't be able to sustain like this success. I don't know what is our deal, right. but we're celebrating you. We're doing it. Yeah. So we like to celebrate your stories because your story is going to impact somebody. There's somebody out there right now that is going through whatever you went through or are currently going through. And when you share your story, they're going to be like, oh. I'm not alone. So please share your story in our Facebook family group. If you don't do Facebook, um, you can send us an email at stories at twocrazyketos.com and we can share it that way. And you can yeah. put your picture there or if you're really shy and you don't want to show your picture, you can just send us a story and we can read it. Like we finally got your mom on, right? Yes, it was hard for her to and come on. And it was on. very hard. She was like, I don't want to be on camera, but she's got such an awesome story and we're going to still keep working on her. When you see her in Facebook family group, make sure you kind of like give her those little nudges because I'd love to just sit down and talk about her entire journey on keto. Well, and that's the thing because she has, and she hasn't stopped to really take it in because we, we got a lot of- 80 pounds. 85 pounds. 85 pounds. 85 pounds. She weighs 160 pounds now. So I don't know how to do the math for that. So 160 plus 85. That was her, her beginning weight two years ago. But there's still in her mind, I think, the thought like, oh, well, I, I'm not ready to be on camera yet because I don't think I look the way that I want to. 85 pounds, it's time to get on camera, woman. Right. Like, it's time to, like, share your story. We're ready. Let's do it. Well, let's get into this week's subscriber of the week, and it's from Chris. Hey, Chris. And she said, top picture is January of 2020. Bottom two pictures, which I only put one in there because I couldn't fit them all on the screen, um, are now loving my new life. 87 pounds down so far. I love it. Wow, you look awesome. Is that amazing? Oh my gosh. You're definitely aged backwards. Yeah. Look at the difference like in your face and oh my gosh, yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, congratulations. You gorgeous. look amazing. Amazing. Okay, you ready to get into comments? Yeah. Okay, so... Parrothead Renee, which, oh my gosh, I butchered that one. Yeah. We're going to have to fix that before this comes were, out. Were you like asleep when you wrote that name? I said, am I the only one that kept seeing objects moving in the background of this video? Last week's Keto on the Couch. Yeah. Almost like a person was walking by. So weird. Like a change in the lighting as if a person passes through. I saw it at least three times and I still have like 15 minutes to left to watch. We got a poltergeist okay. situation. I did finally figure out what it is. I thought it was like cars going by, but I'm like, hey, we have curtains closed for this video. So I have a light here and a light here. Well, this light here is a professional light and it's got lighting effects so that if you need to imitate like a storm or something like that what? one of the lighting effects was turned on and at a very very low pace so it was like once every like 10 minutes and it was to imitate like storms and stuff wow and because i was like i mean i was watching the video and like how neither one of us saw because every video that we put up gets previewed three times and we missed before it. we release it and how neither one of us saw that like rachel will notice like you know when you point, you're pointing with your middle, middle finger. finger every time. And I mean time. that's not intentional, but she was like, "It looks like Stop. you're giving everybody the finger." Stop pointing with your middle finger. He'll be like, "Okay, I don't so notice this, this stuff. next recipe. This is the next thing you're gonna put the you're gonna put the ingredients right in here." But he's using his middle finger. And it's like this is the favorite thing that I love, and I'm like, "Stop it." We just noticed right before we started today's video that my face was bleeding through our avocados. Yes. So it looked like my smiley face was residing in the belly button of the avocado. It was yeah. coming through. Okay, next comment is from Amanda. Hey Amanda, she says, Joe and Rachel, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support and encouragement. I wouldn't be where I am today without you or your channel. You inspire me daily and I cannot thank you enough. Wishing you and your family a blessed Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. God bless. Well, thank you, Amanda. You're the reason, you guys are the reason why we get up every single morning. I, 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 I have to agree. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Here's the thing. We really do read every comment and sometimes it takes us a little while. Yeah. But we, and we always try to, we at least heart it. So when you see a heart, you know we read it. If there's not a heart, it may be that we haven't gotten to it. Sometimes we get a day behind. But your comments mean so much to us. And we're very blessed because we don't get a lot of hate. 
we do get the occasional hate comment. We got a yeah. couple like on the one video about, oh, about cheating and like going off plan. But for the most part, we don't get a lot of hate. And then even when we do, it's followed up with a comment like that or followed up with a comment of like, all the positive things that keto has done for somebody's life, all of the different medical problems that have gone An away. An ornament of crutches. And it really reminds us every day when we read those comments that this is why we do it. Because this is probably the hardest job I have ever had in running this channel. Yeah. And the least paying too. Right. But it's like you you have a sense of purpose. And when we started out this year, we were like, 2020 is a vision year. And Caleb has <laughs> has joked with me that he's like, it's kind of like when you say vision, it's almost like you're looking out of a dashboard of your vehicle, but there's tons of love bug dead bodies like right. squashed. And so like in lots of areas, it's like you just want to be like, ew. And my vision is obscured by what has gone on during this year. But let me tell you, when you guys send us comments like that or, you, you know, you just say like, hey, or you share your story. It is like the the Windex or the cleaner that cleans all of really that is. stuff up and we're back to thinking this is our purpose in life. We are we're here to encourage people and to cheer people on as they make new decisions and new health goals that will give them a better life and more time with their family. The next one is from Melissa. Hey, okay, Melissa. we have to talk about this. We talked about it last week, we posed the question, what kind of dishes do you use for holiday get-togethers? Yeah. Do you use paper plates, the cheap ones, the nice ones? Do you use just your regular house dishes? Do you use fine china? Because mom would be just finishing up washing the dishes from Thanksgiving in right time now. for Christmas. Right. If, if it weren't for going to paper plates for us. So Melissa wrote, normally I do nice dishes, not fine china, but not my mismatched chipped everyday ones. That's mm -hmm. what we have, Dollar Tree ones. We totally got those. But sometimes I do nice paper plates. I'm working this year, so it is definitely paper plates. I do not practice run on a turkey because I know I can make it well. Good. But if I was making something I had never made before, I would. Yeah. Now you did something different this year with the turkey that you had made as the practice run, and that was incorporating the Redmond seasoning salt. That was well, something I've never that used the Redmond. I, I mean, usually I would just use like some kind of like some kind of turkey rub or poultry rub or something like that. But this year I just used Redmond. And then I did what a lot of people like don't think about. So when you put it on the skin, it makes the skin taste really good, but you don't get those flavors inside. So what right. I do is I lift the skin up gently and you take your hand and you kind of just like slide it back and forth and you kind of get your hand in there. And I take the season salt, the Redmond season salt, and I throw a whole bunch in there and then I kind of rub around on the meat. And then I put slabs of butter in there in between the skin and the turkey. So while the turkey is cooking, all of that butter is melting and getting into that meat and it just helps it not dry out. Which is good because I that way everybody gets to enjoy that flavor because usually what happens is like that crispy skin on the outside, as soon as he's letting it rest, I'm just right behind him tearing all Eating of the, all the skin, skin off. And then it dries out. And then it's dry. So... Next one is from BP. Hey BP, they say we do bone china every year. All the really fancy stuff from my late grandma. It's a sweet reminder of her every year. That is That is really beautiful. cool. Beautiful. Yeah, when you have something like that an heirloom, I could definitely see us doing like an heirloom thing if yeah. we had something like that. That is beautiful. Yeah. Next one is from Slapstick. He slaps He said always paper plates, but not the crazy thin ones. Yeah. For big meals, it's styrofoam plates with the compartments in it to separate the food. Nice. I did a practice run on Thanksgiving last year to try a bunch of keto stuff, but I don't do practice runs for meats. I don't practice run anything this year. It's mostly stuff that I've made a few times. That feels like a victory lap, right? Because right. if there's some things that you're like, hey, this is, you know, it's been a couple of Thanksgivings now, or it's a couple of holidays. And right. I think we've got this. I think we're starting to find our new tradition because right. now you're moving forward. You're going to find food that you really love and you're starting new traditions. That's how we unplug from old eating habits and we start our entire family doing the new 
not new normal. We're not supposed to say new normal, right. like Don't in 2020, right? But um, but yeah, you're starting a new tradition, and I was so excited. Not one kid, adult, anything in my family said, hey, did we have, oh, that's right, we don't do macaroni and cheese. Right. Nobody, nobody even, rem- nobody remembered that we forgot it. Yeah. On purpose. Next week is, next one is a vet. Hey, a vet. Said, I use real plates. When you use those foil pans, put them on a cookie sheet. It makes them easier to get out of the oven. Yeah, I was just being an idiot. Yeah. No practice run, however, not cooking this year. Now, I don't normally do practice runs on turkeys unless I'm going to make it somewhere different. I'm like, Christopher, I don't do it on meat. But I generally do make a turkey ahead of time because I love turkey and I never seem to get enough on Thanksgiving. So usually yeah. when Thanksgiving's coming, I buy a couple of turkeys. And if we're re- eating at Rachel's mom's house, I still buy a turkey and make it ahead of time because I want my turkey. Like we didn't even have any leftovers to bring home this year. So no. like I, that's why I always do it. That's the problem when you do Thanksgiving with a bunch of carnivores. So next one is from Connie. Hey Connie. She says, we use the large tray styrofoam plates with ex- separate compartments. I like them because I don't like my food to touch. Well, she could have Thanksgiving dinner with Christopher <laughs> and my mom because she does not like the food to touch either. So uh, next one is from Jessica. Hey Jessica. She said, Walmart brand Dixie knockoff paper plates, even plastic forks for me. Not those super cheap ones where you have to use three at a time to hold everything. Right. <laughs> Some of the plastic forks are nice now. Thicker. Even a silver color to mimic actual silverware. I hate dishes. So yeah, it's funny. I have never been a fan of plastic silverware because we usually get the ones from the Dollar Tree. And those so like, cheap. The like, you know, the white ones and then the little fork breaks off and now it's in your food. Yeah. We so need a prong. I like the ones from like the China company. Like those are really good. But I'm sorry, the best plastic silverware I've ever had is the spoons and the forks that you get when you go to Chipotle. Yes, I don't know what they're using, but it's they're amazing. Awesome. Now, I was joking with my my friend Natalie this past week and we were talking about, you know, paper plates and stuff and she said the only problem with this next level silverware that they're coming out with the plastic silverware is she's like, I want to just wash it and use it one more time because it is so nice, but now I've defeated the purpose. I'm supposed to throw it out. The problem is is some of this plastic silverware actually costs more money than regular silverware. You might as well go to the dollar store buy a whole batch of forks for a dollar and then throw them in the garbage when you're done yeah seriously <laughs> okay next one is from for my boys for my boys says me me i want peanut butter and jelly i'm assuming that's the keto chow flavor that joe wants me yes i want peanut butter and jelly keto chow and i think that we need to just get everybody to inundate miriam's email or facebook with we should have a peanut butter and jelly keto chow. Or we can inundate Joe's email with no. How about that? It would be awesome, but I know. But now it's a now it's a running joke with Miriam. That You'll I get liverwurst flavor first. <laughs> Let's take a quick commercial break and we'll come back with our Facebook family group comments. And we're back. Okay, first one is going to be from Melanie. Hey, Melanie. She says, does anyone know what natural and artificial colors means in the keto chow? I don't want to drink red number five, yellow number 40, et cetera. Does it mean that? Okay, so I did talk to Chris. Okay. And uh, Chris did actually make a whole FAQ for this. And I'm going to nice. link it down below. So basically, it's you're not doing the red dyes and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of that stuff has just been made illegal, the things that were causing autism and all that kind of stuff. So they're not using that. But he was saying a lot of them is things like they're using beta carotene or beets and things like that for color. Mm-hmm. And they just lump it all together as artificial and natural coloring. Uh, but he did make an entire FAQ, and I'd much rather let him answer that than me. Yeah. But it is a valid question. Very Which valid. is why I wanted to highlight it right here on Keto on the Couch. So check it out. Out. Okay. So our next one is from Laylee. Hey, Laylee. She said, the best part of a keto Thanksgiving for two is not having to peel potatoes. Amen. Though this is my first attempt at a keto stuffing, so the husband is going to get a box of stovetop for himself in case he doesn't like it. Aw. And a jar of gravy because he doesn't understand homemade gravy. It is like a learning curve, but once you've had actual homemade gravy, you're like, what was I holding on to for so long? And you can make, you know, as Christmas and other holidays come around, you can make gravy 
nice and thick, just like you're used to like the canned stuff. You just gotta use like xanthan gum or guar gum or cognac flour or that kind of stuff. So it can be done. What's your favorite one for like a hot gravy? It just completely depends on what I'm making. For the okay. most part, I use a lot of guar gum. So. For if you were doing a gravy. Yeah. Okay, next one is from September. Hey, September. She says, had to replace my wedding ring a while back because it kept falling off. I started wearing it on my pointer finger because it fit nicely there. I'm the same weight I've been for months. I lost my ring sometime between when I went to sleep Monday night and when I woke up this morning and didn't even notice. Just goes to show you, you can still lose inches or inflammation and not see a move in the scale. September is so right about I remember that. that happened to you, right? You know, Rachel, she couldn't wear a ring for like a year. But then it fit on my middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> and then I felt like I was making some sort of social statement against our marriage. I actually had the same problem. I had had my ring and I would be at work like digging plants and stuff and my ring kept coming off. So we finally did have to get it resized. Then of course you lost a couple diamonds, which what? is why you're not wearing it yeah, now. Yeah, because, and then it like, it broke and it's, the jeweler is like, seems to be the last business to like go back to business. So right. I'm afraid that if I wear it, it's, I'm going to, damage it further so we'll get it straightened out okay so next one is from alex hit a pole hey alex said remember where you were eating the way you are for you and if you have kids the life you were able to give when other people try to get you to go off plan it's because of their own insecurities or belief systems yeah this is a perfect example of what i was talking about why this week everybody was like the keto college adjunct professor of the week because the entire Facebook group was loaded with comments like that, like leading right up to Thanksgiving. And I really feel the same way. I like think a lot of times when people are like, well, you can have just one, it's, they're looking for validation of why they can have it. So if you have it, then they can have it. But if you're not eating it, they start feeling guilty within. So. Yeah, I can appreciate that misery loves company, right. but I don't want to be company with the misery. Right. Okay, next one is from Pat. Hey, Pat. She says, in general, I haven't had many keto substitutes like bread and such. I usually just eat meats, veggies, and obviously fats. But I am thinking I would like to have some crackers for the holiday season. What do you recommend? Flackers? Or I think Joe had a recipe. What do you all like best? Okay, so we actually have a couple of different, we have like three different cracker recipes. Uh, we have our one ingredient flaxseed crackers. Yeah. And I know some people don't like flaxseeds. I personally don't have an issue with them. Uh, we have our flax meal crackers. Mm -hmm. And then we also have our Cheez-Its, which I, are super easy to make. I think the Cheez-Its are crazy delicious good. Like, I, I think those are awesome. Now, if you don't like those, if you don't want to make them yourself... You can also get the almond flour ones from Fat Snacks, which are delicious. Yeah. I can't even keep them in the house. No. Because if I'm not eating them, Rachel's mom is coming over and grabbing them. I yeah. mean, they are really, really good. Very tasty. And you can feel comfortable because I think a bag is three servings. So, so long as you don't eat the entire bag in one sitting, which I have done. Whoops. Um, and even there, it's still not horrible. But you get a decent amount in a serving. So those are some of your options. But try our Cheez-Its because it's really, really easy to make. And they come out delicious. You're going to swear they taste like Cheez-Its. Yeah. They're, oh, they're so good. Okay. You ready? Next one is from Elaine. Hey, Elaine. She says, has anyone made the ice cream recipe from Two Crazy Ketos? A third a cup of heavy whipping cream, two thirds cup nut milk, protein powder, and two cups of ice. Mine is always icy and not creamy. What am I doing wrong? Okay. So one of the things, if you're making the keto chow or our blender ice cream, which are pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's honestly an art. Um, and I know that's gonna sound bad. It's a lot of trial and error. You kind of have to learn your blender. Yeah. And you're going, you, you start off with a little bit less ice. It sounds like you're adding a little bit too much ice because everybody's blender is different. Yeah. And once you get the right amount of ice, it'll be perfect every time. But it took me a long time. Like I know I take a two cup measure, like the Pyrex two cup measure, and I need to make it flat, and then it's three ice cubes out of my particular ice maker on top. That's specific. But if I don't have any of our ice, like for example, you grab a bag of ice from the grocery store, that's all out the window, and now I have to kind of play with it. So it really comes down to what kind of ice are you using, how big are the ice cubes, but if you keep playing with it, I would definitely start off with not 
so much ice. Use a little bit less ice. The worst thing that's gonna happen is maybe it's a little bit looser, but it won't have that whole icy thing. That's a good idea. Okay, we have one more, and it's from Angina. Hey, Angina. She said, wow, saw this on my timeline today that I posted a few years back. Almost nailed Whoa, it. Whoa, it says Black Friday through the years. 2005, 5 a.m. 2010, 3 a.m. 2012, 12 a.m. 2013, Thursday at 8 p.m. 2014, Thursday at 6 p.m. 2015, all of Thursday, but then 2020, 4th of July. It's so true. It's kind of funny. Like if you were thinking, talking earlier about the vision. vision thing. And yeah, we had no idea, but as soon as the COVID thing hit, really, we've been doing Black Friday sales since July, but she made that post years ago. That is amazing. So that's amazing, and that's how we ended up, and like we were talking earlier, man, like Black Friday this year was definitely weird and eerie. It really, really was, but when you get those memories that come up, you're like, okay, don't delay. Yeah. Where was I five years ago when I posted this right. and where am I now? Like if you need to call somebody and tell them you love them, do it. Don't wait. If you need to celebrate because you've had any forward momentum at all, stop for a minute right. and celebrate that. And if you need help or you need to reach out to somebody, reach out in our Facebook family group, send us an email. We want to let you know you're not alone. You're doing great and you have a good future ahead of you. Right. So that's going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell button so you're notified so that you know when all of our live streams are coming up. We're going to go enjoy some camping. Yes. Hopefully, we're going to be able to live stream this Thursday. That That is the plan so yeah. long as we have enough internet. I don't even know how far we are away from like a store where we can go sit in a Starbucks or something. So we have Not no idea yep. until we actually get up there. And also, you want to make sure you're notified when we put up like what time our 12 days of keto live streams are gonna be. Yeah, cause you don't wanna miss that. Yeah, so if you like seeing videos like this, there are 89 more keto on the couches, which I'm gonna link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which you can find right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.